Hello everyone, my name is Asa True. how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video of mine and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you 5 awesome mods to improve the experience with the Clone Commando. This is the latest reinforcement to be added to Battlefront 2 and modders have been hard at work creating skins and extra details that you may prefer if you play as the Clone Commando. From custom weapon sounds to Delta Squad skins, this video is going to have it all, so let's just get straight into it. And a no particular order top 5 countdown. So, the first mod I'll share with you is the Unmasked Clone Commando skin from Toop12. This removes the helmet of the Clone Commando, so if you want to see the Clone Trooper face underneath, you can do that using this mod. It is a nice and simple mod, but I know some people have been wanting this option, so there it is. It's a good mod, and it's definitely worth checking out. This next mod is a character from the Clone Force 99, otherwise known as Bad Batch, and this is Hunter from Mandalorian Business. From unfinished episodes now to be part in the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars, the Bad Batch are a unique unit of clone troopers. And one of them is Hunter, who is some sort of clone commando. And as you can see, what's really cool about this mod is, not only does it have accurate markings on the texture work, but it actually uses mesh importing. So the commando helmet is different to the one we have in the game. It has that bottom part that is part of the phase two clone trooper helmet. It's not completely commando that we see in the game already. So it's really unique. It's definitely a different take on the clone commando. And I'm sure some people that are really into their clone mods will really like this mod. Now let's take a look at some mods that will improve the DC-17M blaster. In the original Republic Commando game, the DC-17M had a ammo counter in a blue light at 300 rounds in that magazine, and there was also a number 3 for the free grenades. The Battlefront 2 version of the DC-17M does not include these, but with this mod you can do that. And there is an additional file that you can enable, which has Clanker Killer inscribed into the side of the DC-17M if you want to have that on your DC-17M, and it looks really cool. The blue highlights this mod adds just makes the blaster look so much better. A thing people have requested DICE to change is the sound of the DC-17M, because in the Republic Commando game and the Clone Wars TV show, there is two different sounds, and both of those are different, because the sound in the game is different to what's in the Republic Commando game and in the Clone Wars TV show. There are two different variants with this mod, so you can pick which one you want, either the Republic Commando version... or the Clone Wars TV show version if you prefer. This mod was made by Beng and he urges you not to use this online because there is a possibility of you getting banned, so please do only use this offline. And last but certainly not least is the 4K Clone Commandos mod from Orthohex. This includes a bunch of custom skins at 4K resolution, upscaled normal maps, and accurate markings from the Republic Commando game and other Star Wars media. The mod includes skins for Delta Squad, so Boss, Fixer, Scorch, and Sev. It also includes the multiplayer appearances from the Republic Commando game, so you have Night Ops, Ranger, Recon, and Urban. There is also some extras with Vi Skirata and Gregor. One of my favourite looking Clone Commandos is Gregor from the Clone Wars TV show, and seeing this in 4K resolution with an absolute incredible attention to detail on all of the different markings is just awesome. And each of these include a custom portrait image in the respawn menu, so when you're in the respawn menu, you can see you're playing as Boss or Gregor. It's just really awesome. Orthohex also states there will be more Clone Commandos to come in the near future, so look out for an update to this mod. My only gripe with this mod is that the skins are quite dirty. I just prefer Clone Troopers to be a little bit more cleaner. That's just a personal preference of mine. 
You can download every single one of these mods using the download link in the description below, so please do check the mods out and support the modders. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and subscribe if you are new around here, and turn on notifications for more videos like this from me, and check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you didn't miss them, and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.